Yo, what's up guys? Raymond here, or welcome back to the channel. And today I wanna to talk to you about a biotech stock. And it's in one of the hottest sectors, again, a biotech in the stock market right now. We're gonna go over what the company does as well as some of the catalysts that we're gonna look forward to in order to drive this stock price higher. Also, analysts have huge price targets for this stock. So make sure you stick around all the way to the very end to get all the information that you need to make a good decision when it comes to this stock. But before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, do it like you always do, and subscribe to the channel as well. And don't forget to pick up your two free stocks with Weeble when you open an account and deposit $100. I have a link down in the description. So the company we're gonna talk about today, super exciting, is a BioLine RX, and they're a biopharmaceutical company that deals primarily in oncology. It's true that this stock has driven up a little bit recently. However, I don't think that it's too late by any means. It hasn't run up nearly as much as some of the other stocks in this sector have. So I still think it's a good price point to get in if you were considering getting in. But again, as investors, we want to make sure that we're doing our due diligence, doing our research and making good decision when it comes to investing. Now, let's take a quick look at what the company does and what we can expect going forward. So a little bit about the company, BioLine RX is a clinical stage biopharmaceutical company focused on oncology. Like I said before, the company's business model is to in license novel compounds, develop them through clinical stages, and then partner with pharmaceutical companies for further clinical development and or commercialization. The company's lead program Mota Zat Fortide is a cancer therapy platform currently being evaluated in a phase 2A study for the treatment of pancreatic cancer in combination with Keytruda and chemotherapy under a collaboration agreement with MSD. Their product is also being evaluated in a phase 3 study in stem cell mobilization for autologous bone marrow transplantation. It's also in a phase 1B study for patients with acute respiratory distress syndrome secondary to the COVID-19 and other respiratory viral infections. Also, BioLine is developing a second oncology program, AGI-134, an immunotherapy treatment for multiple solid tumors that is currently being investigated in a phase 1.5 study. I also want to switch quickly here to the pipeline and see exactly what they're doing, especially when it comes to their flagship product. When you look at their pipeline, you can see that they have a few things on the board currently. Their flagship product here, they're currently in the stem cell mobilization of phase three, and that's right around the corner from getting a regulatory approval by the FDA. Now, Assuming that this approval goes through, this is going to be a huge catalyst for this company and in turn is going to make huge gains for the stock. They also have their pancreatic cancer uh, version that's also in phase two, AML that's in phase two, and then they have something else. It's a different product that focuses on tumors currently in phase one. So again, if they can get that regulatory approval past that phase four, get that approval, this is going to be a huge catalyst. For this company now it's very important to know that this company doesn't yet have a product out in the field generating them a revenue but regulatory approval hopefully is right around the corner so once that approval comes then we can start to see some gains on this stock a few quick things by the analysts currently forecasting a price for this stock in the future based on the potential for their flagship product and a $2.40 share price. It's not true, it's gone up a little bit. It's currently around $3.40. Some analysts think that now is the time to pull the trigger. We believe results from the phase three Genesis trial could spur the majority of transplant physicians to choose a BL8040 over a Mozabil to combine the GCSF if the drug is approved. Upside to our thesis includes the BL840, for use in other auto HSCTs and solid tumors. The company boasts a catalyst-rich deep oncology pipeline that has attracted collaborations 
with Novartis, Merck, and Genentech. The analyst rates BioLine as a buy, and his $11 price target suggests a whopping 358% upside for the year ahead. Also adding to the good news, the upside potential lands at 428% based on the $12.67 average price target here on tip ranks. You can see that you have three analysts here. One has a $5 price target. One has a $22 price target. One has an $11 price target. And the average is $12.67. Even if you bought in at $3, $3.50 and it went up to $5, you'd still be making money. And this guy, he's way up there at $22. So hopefully it gets to that point because that's going to be a ton of gains. Another huge catalyst is that tomorrow, the 23rd of February, 2021, BioLine is going to release their annual results for 2020. So that's going to be a massive catalyst, assuming that everything looks solid. Their management team is going to hold a conference call at 10 a.m. Eastern. So super exciting stuff, right? This stock has a lot of potential, and I think it could potentially 5x relatively soon. So don't miss out if you're considering and jumping in because we have some great catalysts. We have FDA approval, hopefully right around the corner. We have the annual earnings statements released tomorrow, which is the 23rd of February. And we have analysts also saying that this stock price could go up to 11 to 12 or even 15 bucks. So that's something to look forward to. As usual, go ahead and make sure that you're doing your own research, doing your own due diligence before you pull the trigger on any investment. But by the way, let me know down in the comments whether you think this is a good stock to go ahead and invest in. Do you think these price targets are astronomical? Do you think they're unrealistic? Or do you think they will go up but not by that much? And also, do you think it, it's too late to get into this stock? So thanks for sticking around. My name is Raymond. I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, please go ahead and hit that like button on your way out and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. And also don't forget to pick up your two free stocks with Weeble when you open an account and deposit $100. Also, I make videos just like this one multiple times a week, every single week on the stocks, personal finance, investing, and how to build wealth. So if you like this video, don't forget to share it with a friend. And I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.